Hello everyone, we are continuing our project of building an NFT minting dApp with Truffle, Solidity, Open Zeppelin, and React. Before we jump into this video, check out our Kickstarter that's happening now, Hello Coding 4.0. You can pledge and get tons of content all about blockchain and more. We built a React project with Truffle. We built a smart contract for minting NFTs. We initialized Web3 in React and deployed a smart contract. We built the front end NFT minting functionality and we built website elements. So in this lecture, we can finally test our project. One more line that we have to add is to resolve the contract. So we're going to call resolve and pass in the contract inside of our initializing web three to test the project make sure that you have ganache open and running and make sure that you as well recently had your contract deployed and that the contract address that you're using here is the latest address of the contract that you deployed so for example, if you deployed the contract and then you closed Ganache, you'll have to redeploy it because this Ganache is a local blockchain that is temporary. So every time you quit Ganache, the blockchain dies. And when you reopen Ganache, a completely new blockchain is created. So any contracts you created on the old blockchain will be dead as well. So to keep that in mind, if your project isn't working for some reason, try redeploying the contract, making sure you have Ganache open and you're not closing it. As well, for testing the project, you have to have the MetaMask extension here. You have to have that browser extension because that's how we can actually pay for the transactions. Don't worry, you don't have to use real Ether. We're going to import an account using a secret recovery phrase. So what we have to do is go to Ganesh and just copy this mnemonic that it gives you, which is random every time. And you're going to paste that in here. Then you can just put in any password. So what we're doing is we're just using an account that Ganache created for us to have a bunch of test ether that we can work with. And we can do this because we're testing the project on a local blockchain. That's the network that we're running the project on. If we were actually deploying the website and connecting to the real mainnet, we would have to use real Ethereum to make those transactions. But because we're testing the project on Ganache, we can use test ether. So you can put in that secret recovery phrase and just put in any password here that you want. Don't worry about remembering this password and this key phrase because every time you you quit Ganache and you relaunch Ganache, you'll have to sign in all over again. Now, you don't have to use the Ganache as the account. You could also create your own account in MetaMask and just get test ether from a faucet, which means it's just a website online that you can request test ether to be sent to your account. And it's completely free, so that's another option. So then you can press restore to restore your account, which just means to log in. And you have to select an account to use. You can use all of them if you like, or just one. Hit next and then give permissions for the website to access the account. So look at that, I have 99 ETH, but don't get excited, this is test ETH, which comes from Ganache. So it only works on a test network, whichever network you have the money on. Okay, so now inside of my website, I can refresh the page and make sure that I'm connected to Ganache and make sure Ganache is open and make sure MetaMask is logged in. Make sure you're also at the local network because that's the Ganache network. Then you can go to the browser and type in a name of a color like blue and press mint. Now for this to work, you do have to be logged in to MetaMask. So let's see if you're not logged in here, it may prompt you to log in again. Let's just try here minting. Okay, great. So if it prompts you to log in a second time, then just close that and try again because you shouldn't have to log in twice, but you should have to pay for the transaction. So you have to pay the gas fee. And don't worry, this is test ether because we're using the Ganache network. So press confirm and that is going to say token minted. Then if you press my minted tokens, look at that blue will appear. Awesome. So we can see we have blue that's appeared as one of our token items. And that's because we here had a text field that took in a color and minted a token when the mint button was pressed. 
Then when you press to get my tokens, you can see all your tokens appear under the class name token. I'm also just going to go into CSS and add a color of white to the token class. That way I can see that text a little bit easier. If you have any problems, then just go to more tools, web developer tools and open up the console to see if you have any error messages. If you do run into problems and as well, you can try checking your code to make sure you didn't miss any lines or forget any spelling mistakes that you had to fix. As well, you can try redeploying your contract, making sure that you deployed it while you had the current instance of Ganache open, not a previous instance of Ganache. And then you should be all good to go. You can try again with another color name like green, and then press mint and confirm via MetaMask. Then you can check out your tokens. You have blue and green this time. Okay, and because I'm the only one minting, my tokens is the same as all tokens. Awesome, so there we go. That is the token marketplace. In this project, you learned how to build a new React project with Truffle. You also learned how to build an NFT smart contract and connect it to a React front end where a user can visit the site and they can mint a token from your color token NFT type. And then when they mint, they become the owner. Awesome, congratulations everyone. I encourage you to expand the project some more. You could expand the front end or add more functionality in the back end in the solidity code. There's a lot of opportunity with this beginner site. That does it for this project. I will see you next time. Don't forget to check out our Kickstarter Hello Coding 4.0. First link in the description.